Hello, my name is Daniel Showalter, and I'll be the instructor for this course. I want to go through just a little bit of background about myself and why I'm teaching this course, and also the course itself, just a, a glimpse of it. So my bio itself, you can read in the discussion uh, forum for week one. I, I put it introduction. Uh, you can read a little bit more about my background and feel free to ask any questions you want. Um, I live in Harrisonburg with my wife and our two daughters. And I do not have a nursing background. My mother's a nurse, so I grew up around nursing. Um, and I have taught statistics courses to nurses for the past six years or so um, at the undergrad, master's, and doctoral level. So I've, I've interacted a lot with nurses through statistics. Um, but still, uh, nursing itself, a lot of the specific terminology uh, is, is relatively foreign to me. And I'm, I'm always curious and enjoy. It's one of my joys of teaching a course like this is to learn more. So I, I'm excited to hear the backgrounds that you bring, and I'll, I'll see that through your, your assignments. Um, what I do bring to the table is a, an ability to look at our lives through a statistical lens. So first of all, let me separate out statistics and mathematics. They're two completely different things. Um, there are upper level statistics that use mathematics as an engine, but that's not what we're covering here. We're not so interested in the calculations, the formulas, things like that. Um, what I'm much more interested in is how we look at life, how we make decisions, how we look at patterns, make predictions, see relationships uh, through a statistical lens. And that's what we're going to do. We, we will build some tool sets um, using spreadsheets and, and software programs and then learn how to interpret those um, and, and apply them to our lives. I, I hope you take away from this course uh, just, you know, uh, an amazing realization about how much of our lives, our faith, our friendships, romance, happiness, anxiety, uh, basically everything in our lives could be enhanced by looking at that through a statistical lens. And I know that probably sounds crazy right now, but hopefully as, as the course goes on, you'll, you'll understand what I'm talking about there. Um, I do want to give you a real quick picture of the course too. So let me minimize myself here and we'll go to the overall web page. So we have weekly modules that will always be due on Sunday. However, um, you know, you're, you're all working adults. Many of you have families or certainly other obligations, whatever the case may be. So just be in communication with me. Um, most deadlines are pretty flexible, especially with some advance notice. Uh, as life issues come up, we'll deal with that. I'm well aware of those kinds of things in normal situations, much, much less COVID type of situations. Um, every week, the module, it, it, it'll be asynchronous. So you proceed at your your pace and I'll, I'll probably open it you know a, a week ahead of time or uh, so that way you would have a week and a half to two weeks to actually complete the material for any given module there will always be a read section which comes from this book i really like this book i, I don't like a lot of the textbooks i teach from but i do like this book there's parts that do get into the computation or calculation a little more those are not the important parts of the book. So feel free to, if it, if it gets a little too dry there, feel free to skip over that. The concepts are very important. Um, and those are not easy. The concepts are difficult, but those are important. So we'll, we'll get into that. Um, feel free to be in communication with me if it feels the readings are too hard and we can talk what to really focus on there. And then there's a, a place called a focus section. So this is where you're actually building tools. Uh, typically, this will be spreadsheets that I, I shared with you. Week one is more just a practice, uh, getting ready with spreadsheets, and then, um, then we start diving into it a little more. Uh, there won't be spreadsheets due every week. I think it's about every other week. Uh, but I'll try to release it ahead of time so you can work ahead. Explore 
we be where we see those life connections a bit more. We, we learned about the concepts up in the reading section and, and we developed the tools in the focus. And then explore, I'm gonna go through and, and uh, explain the concepts a little more. Oftentimes there'll be some videos to watch here in this section. Then we get to the discuss, discuss discussion section. Uh, here's where you're going to process some of the material that you've already learned uh, with each other. A lot of it will be mostly giving your intro post. Uh, in the past, some of the, the interaction people have felt was uh, cumbersome or not, not as useful. So there will be some interactions, um, but a lot of the, the focus will be on your initial post there. Then there's an understanding check. Uh, so this is a uh, several questions just to make sure you got the the main parts of the of the assignment. Uh, you'll notice that you do have multiple attempts here, three attempts, um, and that I, I'll be, I'll see how things are going to see if, if this number will change. But you'll always have multiple attempts. My hope is that you'll you'll interact with me before your final attempt. If you're really getting stumped by something, take a screenshot or, or somehow let me know which one you're stuck on and, um, and email me and, and I can help you work that out. This really isn't an attempt to grade you intensely. This is more of an attempt to make sure we're getting the main takeaways. And, and so I'm more than, help, uh, more than happy to help you out there with with a hint uh, as needed. Okay, so that was the understanding check. And then we have finally a reflection section. Uh, so this will be a journal. You should have all received a journal that I shared with you. Um, sometimes there will be some guided prompt that you need to cover in your, your journal. Uh, it's always welcome, and, and towards the end of the course, this will even be the focus. It's always welcome to just put out whatever your thoughts are on the week's material or how it went for you or what's going on in your life. You know, are, are there, is there some kind of wedding or has there been a death or a sickness or uh, a particularly stressful event? Even if it doesn't feel like it connects with this course material, it's helpful for me to know um, what you're going through and also, you know, just your perspective on, on life. So as I'm designing some of the material or adjusting it, um, I can try to tailor it uh, so that it that it meets your needs more. So do use those journals, address any prompts I give you, but then please feel free to just vent or, or explain or tell me whatever you're going through and, and, and I'd be happy to read that. Okay, and I think that's basically it for the weekly flow. Uh, if you do have any other questions, email is always a great way to get a hold of me. It's daniel.showalter at emu.edu. And it, that should be in several places in our course. Uh, let me let me just make sure here. Yeah, this course syllabus would have my, my contact information also. And, Email will be much better than trying by phone. Occasionally, we may end up doing a phone call or a Zoom when it feels like a little more back and forth is needed. Uh, but I am, I'm an email addict. I, I love uh, responding and interacting through emails. And, and a lot of time with my crazy sleep schedule, um, it's sometimes easier for me to take care of some of that stuff at nighttime after my girls are asleep also. So go with email as your number one one way of contact me and then we can adjust. Uh, do one final word. Do let me know if, if things are feeling overwhelming. Um, I'd be happy to talk with you. I, I want this to be, it'll be a lot of work, but at the same time, I want it to feel like a meaningful experience that you're getting something out of it that you really can legitimately use in your nursing career and uh, in your personal life as well. So do be in contact with me, um, any, any feedback you have or anything you want, want to discuss. All right, looking forward to getting to know each one of you better and have a uh, wonderful rest of the whatever you're doing until like our, our course here officially starts.